So as long as you have your two articles of clothing, we're now on to the shoe design. And uh, if you don't have two articles of clothing, you can pause this video, go back, create another article of clothing, anything you want, you know, anything that's school appropriate, and then uh, come back to this when you're done. But uh, now that we're going to create a sneaker design, I want to go to nikeid.com. And again, I'm in Google Chrome here. So make sure you're in Google Chrome. Uh, it, it fits well with the Nike ID uh, website. So go ahead and go to nikeid.com. And we're going to be looking for a, a pair of shoes here um, to design. And anything that has the customize word on it or this little logo that will show us uh, things that are able to be customized, you can check it out. So I'm going to go to running shoes here under the men's. You can go to women's, uh, boys and girls. doesn't matter for me. If you want to do um, a cleat because your, uh, your theme is, has to do with soccer or football or, or softball, that's fine as well. You could do that as well. But um, as you look down the uh, shoes right here, anything that says customize it right there with that color wheel, you can see that these pieces or these shoes can be customized. Um, otherwise, you cannot. So we have another customized one here, but over here, no customizing. So uh, you could choose anything that is able to be customized, and we could say that. Um, say that right here customize with Nike ID featured products and now we're gonna look for that logo again anything that can be customized so go ahead and find a shoe that you want to customize and uh, again self-explanatory you pick a shoe you add some color to it and uh, and maybe it matches up with the colors or styles um, that were on your theme or the article of clothing that would probably be best that it fits your theme and also your color scheme so as long as you have your two articles of clothing we're now on to the shoe design and uh, if you don't have two articles of clothing you can pause this video go back create another article of clothing anything you want you know anything that's school appropriate and then uh, come back to this when you're done but uh, now that we're going to create a sneaker design I want to go to nikeid.com and again I'm in Google Chrome here so make sure you're in Google Chrome uh, it, it fits well with the Nike ID uh, website so go ahead and go to nikeid.com and we're going to be looking for a, a pair of shoes here um, to design and anything that has the customize word on it or this little logo that will show us uh, things that are able to be customized, you can check it out. So I'm going to go to running shoes here under the men's. You can go to women's, uh, boys and girls. doesn't matter for me. If you want to do um, a cleat because your, uh, your theme is, has to do with soccer or football or, or softball, that's fine as well. You could do that as well. But um, as you look down the uh, shoes right here, anything that says customize it right there with that color wheel, you can see that these pieces or these shoes can be customized. Um, otherwise, you cannot. So we have another customized one here, but over here, no customizing. So uh, you could choose anything that is able to be customized, and we could say that. Um, say that right here customize with Nike ID featured products and now we're gonna look for that logo again anything that can be customized so go ahead and find a shoe that you want to customize and uh, again self-explanatory you pick a shoe you add some color to it and uh, and maybe it matches up with the colors or styles um, that were on your theme or the article of clothing that would probably be best that it fits your theme and also your color scheme I'll go through this super quick here once I say I'm going to uh, start customizing I can click here and then add a different color or different styles over here on the right so go ahead th click every area and it will keep track of the areas that you've uh, changed over here 
So these are all the things that you can customize. And then when you have your shoe just right, come back to this video. So you can pause now the video and go ahead and customize your shoe, make it look pretty. And when you're all done, come back to the video and I'll show you how to save it to your server. Okay, so now that you are finished and you have, you're ready to save your product, you've finished all the editing that you want to do, here's how to save my product. I'm going to click on share in the lower right hand side, share, and then I'm going to make a poster. So I click share, make a poster, and then I'm going to go through. Uh, I could use the desktop or I could use smaller pictures if you want smaller pictures. Um, these will be square pictures you know, or, or long pictures, or short pictures, or what it has to do with the iPhone, or whatever it is. But you can also just do the desktop, doesn't matter. You choose a background color, changes the background. You can also name this shoe. So uh, let's call this the Peddlers. And that is going to be, you know, because I'm doing the BMX theme, or whatever theme that you choose, you go ahead and name uh, the shoe individually or you could just use your company name right there at the top of the list or you know at the top of the um, poster you know choose your background maybe it has to do with your theme maybe it doesn't maybe it matches your colors that you're using on the shoe or your company colors so on and so forth and then I'm gonna click download if I do get this pop-up blocked symbol up here then I'm gonna have to unblock it and that's fine. Uh, always unblock. You could you could select this. Always unblock. And then I'm gonna have to download it again. Now it opens up a separate window or a new tab. Doesn't matter. It has the sneaker design right here in the center of the picture right here. Okay. So I just take this and now I'm gonna drag it to that folder on my server. Again, I gotta get my Finder window open and I'm going to go to my student server and get find my name find your name obviously and I'm going to go to the design folder inside my documents and here's my design pics I open that up and there's one of my t-shirt designs and I'm going to take my picture from the website here from Nike ID and I'm going to drop it in. You see that, that box got highlighted in blue around the, the rim here. And that means it's going to drop it into this folder. And there you have it. You have that render right there. Um, I can also choose a different angle. And I probably want to do this um, you know, as many times as possible so that I have different looking... Uh, I have different views that I can use as I create my website I want to be able to save it a couple different ways this way I have options when I go to design my website and again um, going back to make a poster and then selecting a different angle of the shoe as you see there or I can hit uh, my over button and if we talk about the soles of the shoe I can use this picture right here again I'll just name it um, and probably keep the same background put the same name on every photo and then uh, you know download it again downloading the back of the shoe this time then I can drag this into my server folder as well just drag it over and I'm holding it over top of my folder to my folder comes open and then I just drop that in and again you want to do that a couple different times with different angles of the shoe just again make a poster choose a different angle as we go through here and so I have options when I go to write or talk about my products. I have different pictures that I can then use on my website.